Hey guys, it's Dan the Medic. Welcome to the channel. Now today I'm over here at the Beijing Noodle Number no. Nine inside Caesar's Palace, guys, in Las Vegas. So, in the menu they have beef chow fun. They call it the wok fried beef chow fun for twenty two ninety nine. Superior soy bean sprout, guys. I'm gonna order it without the bean sprout. Because, uh, yeah, I don't like bean sprouts. Okay, let's get going. So while I'm at it, I'll get the chicken corn soup. Hello. Hey, do you offer military discount here? Yes. Oh, good, 10%. good. Oh, good. So I'll have your chicken corn soup and your wok fried beef chow fun but no bean sprout all right thank you thank you do you need a fork are you good for chopsticks oh no i'm good with the chopsticks thank, thank you. you how nice of her to ask because you know you can't assume in this life that just because you look like this you know you're good with chopsticks <laughs> Then again, I can't imagine anyone looking like I do who are not good with chopsticks. Alright, if you know anyone, put it in the comments below. Just the first initial would be good. You don't even have to say the full name and shame them or anything like that. You know, just initial. Yeah. I'm thinking really hard. I've been living life a long time. No! There's no such thing as someone that looks like me who are not good with chopsticks. So the decor of this restaurant, I believe have not changed at all ever since I've uh, been coming here many years ago. Yeah, it looks the same to me, guys. Thank you. Ooh. It looks like egg drop soup. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And this is salt and pepper and soy sauce. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. The egg drop, I mean, the chicken corn soup has arrived. Let's take a closer look. Oh, I swear, guys, it looks just like egg drop soup. Well, cheers, guys. It's very hot, it's very fresh. It got chicken, I can, like, I don't really see the chicken, but I can, like, taste the chicken. There's, like, little bits of chicken somewhere in here. Yeah. It is, like, suspended, like a suspension. Interesting. got a sweet corn flavor to it I like it give it an 8.5 right off the bat I'm gonna put a little bit of soy sauce in there I hope this is soy sauce looks like you do this and you make a wish Come on, baby. Come on, baby.
Yes, it is soy sauce. <laughs> Mix that around in there a little bit. With the added soy sauce, it goes up to an 8.7. Really good, guys. Tap water. So I remember that there was this one time which I ordered beef chow fun with no bean sprouts and I got some pushback. Right? I was I forgot where I was, but I said to the guy, they are gone chow ho. you are choy. And then the waiter's like like this. You know, this translates to uh, without bean sprouts, how's it gonna be stir fried? I don't know what that means. So, here at Caesar's Palace, there is yet another Chinese restaurant. It's called Mr. Chow, right? Every time I see it, I keep thinking of that character from the movie that uh, the Vegas movie where they can't remember anything yeah that little Mr. Chow I, I think they should just put that guy as the host you know like the host stand you walk up there and you go hi how many you know it will be funny if that guy's there he goes welcome to Mr. Chow you know I'll be like oh my god it really is Mr. Chow oh heavens thank you Oh, come on, please, please, I need to pay off my markers. I need to pay off my markers. Now, I know what must be going through your mind right now. Beijing noodle number nine. Where is Beijing noodles number one through eight? Right? What's going on here? Where is it? It's not like there's a Beijing noodle in like all the Caesar's properties and this is the ninth one. What can it possibly mean? We shall ask the waitress. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you. Can I ask you a quick question? Yes. This is Beijing noodle number nine. Yes. Where is Beijing noodle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8? Oh, we have only Beijing noodle number 9 in the world. Oh, no 1, 2, 8? <laughs> Thank you. Well, there you have it, guys. There is no 1 through 8. Anyway, let's take a closer look. All right, guys, so I am looking at this beef chow fun and I am thinking, where is the beef? Now, not because it's lacking, but it's very monochromatic, you know? I don't have my glasses with me and it's like, uh, it just looks like one thing of the same color. Interesting. I've never seen beef chow fun like this before. Very monochromatic. And with sesame seeds on top. I, I, I assume they're sesame seeds. I, I can't tell. Yeah. All right, so let's see how it tastes. I mean, like, if I look carefully, I can see the beef. New Kung Fu style, oh. But then that's bad if you've been doing things with this hand, now you're getting germs in your mouth. All right, so the beef. They're almost looking like pork.
One more. I see you guys. They velveted it. Velveted it a lot longer. It is so smooth. It's so smooth, guys, and tender. But I will tell you the truth. Not a lot of beef flavor in it. All right. Now, let's move the... Like, I'm not a fan of sesame seeds like uh, in my beef chow fun. Now, I am a fan of sesame seeds in my chung fun. Right? Back then in Chinatown, I used to go to the, to the street cart and they'd give me the rice noodles and they put like hoisin sauce, hot sauce, uh, oil and soy sauce, you know, and it's like a dollar. And uh, they'll sprinkle sesame seeds in it. Good stuff, guys. Alright, now let's try the uh, noodles. These sesame seeds are really reminding me of that uh, street cart. So far, so good. Thank you. So that means I, I don't need any of her services at this time. You know, usually when the waitress comes over and says, uh, how's everything, right? It is uh, a required stop to see if, oh yeah, I need more napkins. Uh, I need, you know, oh, I dropped my chopstick or something like that. All right, more beef chow fun. Now, without the bean sprout. Oh, I'm loving this, guys. I'm loving this. Look, look, look. That's wok hey. Very nice, very nice. Mm. Wow, that little section, excellent wok hey. Great flavor. Yeah, once I got rid of the sesame seeds, it's, it's getting pretty good. Ooh, the scallions. Oh, and you can tell the scallions got wok hey. I swear guys, I'm beginning to think this is pork. Pork is a four letter word. Wow. All right, so I think I've eaten enough of this to be able to tell you what I think. The beef gets a seven. It's all right. 
there isn't much beef flavor to it. The noodles themselves gets a 9.5. Excellent flavor, excellent wok hay, fresh. It's like, I don't even need to add salt or soy sauce to it or anything. They did a really good job with the noodles. All right, so I guess that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. New Vegas video every Friday.